everyone, this is Bob Caffey, Team Run Smart Pro, and today I'm going to talk about replacing a switch in the dash. So most of the dashes, the switches in the dash are interchangeable, you can move them around wherever you want, but most people don't know that, and they don't know how to do that. So I'm going to try to explain that. Um, I'm replacing this switch, this is our dash, dash dimmer switch, and you see it's spring loaded. And our current switch in the dash, when you push it, it stays. So our dash lights will get dimmer, dimmer, dimmer till they finally go off. And then you click it on the bright side and they get brighter and brighter and brighter until you can't see anymore at night. So I'm gonna replace the switch and it's a relatively simple project. And I'm pretty sure you don't need any tools to do that. So I'm gonna switch things around and we'll get started. Okay. As you can see, this here is the switch, and as you can see, it it sticks. So it's it's a real problem when you go to changing the brightness of the dash lights at night. It it it's quite annoying to for it to be that way. So I decided I got a new switch, and we're going to replace it. So the first thing, if you feel on both sides, you have this these parts here and uh, they just pop up they just lift straight out to you they're kind of there's a little finger hold right here kind of kind of a pain but they do come right right up and once you get them lifted this whole switch assembly will come out and it's not being very cooperative kind of needs to come straight out and these things on the sides basically just lock the whole assembly in as you can see the whole assembly came out well within this assembly you have the emergency flashers and the footwell lamps so they are everything is plugged in on the back side where it needs to stay but as you can see there's a a tab right here and there's also one on the bottom side right here and that tab you press it on both both sides and the switch <coughs> reposition myself here a little bit and the switch itself will come out. Maybe we need to grab a little bitty screwdriver for a little assistance. So I always keep a small screwdriver like this handy. And I can grab it from the driver's seat actually. So this is the little tab that needs to be pushed down on the top and the bottom. Push it down and the switch will start coming out as you press on it. I guess it's really not that easy to come out. Primarily probably because it has to unplug from from this whole, oh, I don't even know what you would call this, this whole piece, but anyway, it has to unplug from that in order to, to come out and I'll get that unplugged. Okay, I got those tabs and the switch just popped right out. Pretty simple. You see it's, it's just got uh, some pins there that will slide up into the bottom of the switch. It can only go in one way. Pushes in, snaps in, and now we have the dash light switch working properly. Pretty simple operation. When you go to put it back in, just make sure both of these releases are all the way up. Fits back in the in, the, in its spot and uh, 
And there it is, locked in. Ready to go to work. Most all of these other switches, you can move from one position to the other as long as there's not a direct wire into the back of it. Um, I moved these two switches from down here up to here to where, to where they can be uh, accessed easier. And, but these switches here are direct wired to a relay down underneath the cab so we couldn't move them to another position. But it's all real simple. Just pull the, the side latches up, the whole switch bank comes out, pull out the switch that you want to move. These switches are uh, coded to where whenever you plug them back in, the, the software in the computer in the chassis knows that that switch runs that particular thing. So whenever you uh, plug it in and then start moving it, no matter where it is in the switch banks, it knows to operate that particular, um, you know, like this one is the utility light. If I moved it over here, it wouldn't matter. Or even over here, it would still run the utility lights. So fairly simple. Um, if you have a switch go bad or like ours, it just started sticking. You just uh, pop it out, pop in a new one, and you're back on the road. So until next time, this is Bob Caffey. Be safe out there. Mm -hmm.